view, you'll see here's my rounded corner. Pretty cool. Okay. Now, we don't have space after this rounded corner. We can adjust that later. Okay. Just want to share with you how simple it is to give rounded corners to things. So, the aside tag. So, let's select this aside class tag. Again, this already has. This already has multiple classes assigned to it. From a previous video, this has the color class assigned to it. It has the left floater class assigned to it. So there's nothing in my pull down menu here because it can't show more than one. However, I can go to my code, put my cursor right here, hit the space bar, and we can give this rounded corner 30. Let's give this rounded corner 40 just because we can. RC4, hit the return key. Control tilde, we talked about that in the previous video. Control key tilde, symbol which is the key right next to the one key, toggles between design mode and code mode. Make a change, save a change. So if I go to live, excuse me, if I go to live view, I can see there's my rounded corner. Okay, now eventually we're gonna put content there. So just to keep it simple, let's just take some of this basic content, copy, double click, paste. Okay, copy, paste. Therefore, you can see that this is going to be rounded corner. Okay, now this is not showing as a paragraph. So for some reason, this is not showing up as a paragraph. Therefore, it doesn't have padding. So how can we solve that problem? We can select the text in order to affect the text we need to select the text. So we're gonna select this content and wrap it inside of a paragraph. Command T, Command T, P, return. Okay, now this is one complete paragraph. If you wanna make it a separate paragraph, simply come down here and hit the return key. These are now two separate paragraphs. Again, by default, this was not a paragraph. This is just text, it had no formatting. So I selected the tag, Command T for Quick Tag Editor, and we set our paragraph rule over here to the right. We set the padding to be left and right this much, this much space. So therefore, this automatically has padding inside of it. Make a change, save a change, okay? So if I go to Live View, you can see that there's my rounded corner, okay? So we have to do some more formatting with our type We'll do that right after we do this in our next video. So I'm going to take this out of my view. Now a couple things I want to make a change to here is I don't like this color scheme. In fact, I want to keep this simple. I want to keep this logo white and this black. So how can I do that? Okay. I already have an H1 tag and an H2 tag, which these are, by the way. These are H1 and H2 tag. Now, in a previous video, not this series, but in a different video, if you look at my website, YouTube channel there, we put the H1 tag and H2 tag inside of an H group tag. This is a very powerful technique for search engine optimization. When Google or search engine index things use HTML5, it goes to an H, H1 tag that looks for an H2 tag. So as an example, in this particular case, this is my logo, this is my tagline or a catchphrase. I want that to be part of one complete thought. So how can I do that? I select what I want to affect. I'm gonna select both lines of text and hit Command T, Command key T, Command T for quick tag editor. Quick tag editor. So I'm gonna type in H-G-R-O. Automatically start typing it, it's right here. I can just hit the return key. Okay, so this is now inside of H group tag, so therefore Dreamweaver, I'm sorry, the search engines know how to index, how to sort, how to search for that information. Because this is considered one complete tag because it's inside of an H group tag. Now, really slick move here. We could create a rule for H1. H1 is inside of the header tag. Or we can say H1 when H1 is inside of an H group tag, but I could have other H group tags there, so I'm not going to go that particular route. But I am going to do, I'm going to make a rule for H1, select the tag, select the tag H1. Come down here to my 
CSS rules make a new CSS rule. Now, this is totally wacky right here. I don't care about, I'm um, gonna make this less specific. So pay close attention here, okay? This is how it wants to write the selector. This is how it wants to write the rule. That's not how I want to write the rule. I'm just concerned about creating a rule for a H1 tag, with H1 tag inside of the header tag, okay? Now, for some reason here, why did it not bring in the header tag? Hang on, I'm gonna cancel this for a second. Right down here, you'll see that that's the header tag, okay? So I'm going to do, I'm going to select the header tag and I'm going to say new CSS rule. Okay. It's still not showing the header tag. So we're going to, we're going to fix that. So we're going to say, we're going to do this by hand. We're going to say inside the content div container, which is the main content container for the content. We're going to say header, H-E-A-T-E-R, which represents our what? Our header HTML5 header tag that we created. And when I have a header tag, H1, when H1 is inside the header tag, that's what I want to create a rule for. So I'm going to hit OK. So I'm simply going to say I want to make this type smaller here. So I can do percentages. I'm going to do pixels. I'm going to say 22 pixels, and I want to make it white. So if I hit the Apply option right now, it's now white. 22 pixels. So later we're going to add a drop shadow to this very seamlessly. Okay, let's actually make that slightly bigger. Let's make that 25 pixels and it apply. Okay, so that's the H1 tag. H1 tag is inside of header. So now I'm going to select the H2 tag. Select the H2 tag. Select the tag. Select the tag. Make a rule. Come over here and make a rule for the selected tag. So again, let's do let's just do this by hand. So we can just say header H E A D E R space H2. We're simply saying when an H2 tag is inside of header, this is what we want to do. We hit OK. So I'm going to say let's make this one 20 pixels. Let's make this one black. And it apply option. Okay. Now, if you want to make that slightly smaller, that's okay. That's fine. Let's actually make this 19 pixels. How's that sound? We'll compromise. Okay, and hit okay. Make a change, save a change. Now, what I'd like to do for dramatic effect here, I want to give my H1 tag when H1 is inside of header. So H1 inside of header. I'm just gonna make a simple change here to keep this consistent. I'm gonna say, I'm going to kill the div tag container. I'm just going to say h1 inside of header. Okay. Now watch how cool this is. h1 inside of header. I want to put a drop shadow behind the type of h1 inside of header. Therefore, it's not going to affect anything else but h1 inside of header. So I, again, I select the h1 tag inside of header rule. Here's the header rule that we just created. Again, don't confuse the rules with the tags. Over here on the page are the tags. These are the rules. So I come down here to add property. I click right here and I type in T-E-X-T hyphen shadow. How cool is that? Just start typing. Don't type inside the dialog box. Select the menu and start typing. It pulls up that information from menu. So we're gonna click right here because HTML5 does this for us. I'm gonna click right here and I'm gonna say offset. How far do you want to move the shadow? We're gonna keep this simple. Three, tab, three. Or radius, we're gonna make four. The color of the shadow, of course, is gonna be black, which is pound symbol, zero, zero, zero. Or of course, I can just click this right here and pick black. Now, at this point, you guys should know basic color schemes. FFF is white, zero, zero, zero is black. Okay, so save that. So I can't see that until I publish the page, until I publish the page, or I go to live view. So if I go to live view, presto magic, there's my drop shadow. How totally cool is that? There's my drop shadow for my logo type. Now, if you 
want to change this to initial caps. So I'm looking at this saying, well, that's a little bit bold. I just want to make this initial caps. So how can I do that? I deselect live view. Now I don't have to deselect live view, but it's a little more exciting if you do it and you see it in live view. I'm going to double click my header. I'm going to come down here to text transformation and I'm going to make that capitalized, which basically will make each word capitalized. So think, learn, earn dot com because that's how it was typed in originally. Make a change, save a change, go to what view, and there's my logo type. Looks really nice. Now I'll show you in subsequent videos how I can just affect, say, just dot com. I can make that a different color or I can make learn a different color. In fact, let's do that right now. Let's do that right now. I'm going to select learn. I want learn to be say a contrasting color of this. So how can I do that? Well, one way I can do this very simply is I can tag it differently. Very, very important step here, guys. I'm not going to make a class tag. I'm simply going to make this a strong tag and specify the strong tag to do what I want. So right now, it's just an H1 tag. So if you come down here to your property palette, I can say bold. Bold is strong. Now, very cool trick here. Now I can select the strong tag and make a rule. So I'm going to select the strong tag, come down here to my CSS property palette and make a new rule for strong when strong is inside H1, when H1 is inside of header. So we're simply going to select all this stuff that we don't need and type in H-E-A-D-E-R. So this is telling me when strong is inside of H1, h1 is inside of header. So if I hit OK right now, I'm going to create a rule for that. So we want to make this type, let's make this type a darker version of the opposite color of this. So how can I possibly, possibly do that? Well, let's see. I go to my color and I sample this color. So by default, it's going to be that color. So learn, notice up here, learn has disappeared because it's the same color okay so now i can come up here and i can make that the opposite color so if this is where the color lives then this is the opposite color now for more contrast here we're going to make it more in the green family and darker just a little darker we're going to make this a darker green because that's a contrast to this peach color the salmon color so if i hit ok and i hit the apply option bingo boingo there is my type. How cool is that? Now, we can see the drop shadow because we're not in live view and we haven't published it to the server. Okay, so if I hit OK and I make a change, save a change, if I go up here to live view, there I can see think, learn, earn .com. Now, maybe the earn should be green, green for money, but we'll just go with that right now. So we'll continue in the next video to basically finish out this site. We got a lot more video to go, a lot more tutorials to go for this particular series. Stay tuned, subscribe, subscribe, like my video, share it with friends, go to my Facebook page, yada, 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 yada. Talk to you soon.